Oh, Nowser, buddy. Nowsers. 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 Now it should be all fixed up. All fixed up, I think. All fixed up and ready to rumble. We are all fixed up and ready to rumble. That is what we need is to be all fixed up, up and ready to rumble. Oh, hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Oh, gosh, good grief. You're so wonderful. Um, you are so wonderful. I'm glad that you're here. Let me see. i got to prop my phone up. I'll prop it right here on this yarn. There we go. Okay, let's see. Oh, my goodness. We are ready to rumble. You betcha. That is the... Um, that is wonderful. I don't expect to have a lot of people in here tonight because um, of, because Stacy is going at the same time. Hi, Starla Arts. And because Stacy, yeah, I think that Stacy will have a lot more. Um, hi, Gail. I'm glad you're here. Stacy is live too now. If you all are, because she's doing her mixed media mashup tonight. She usually does it on Wednesday night, but she wasn't able last night. So if you all are um, fans of her mashup, then be sure and go there. Hi, Susan Elizabeth Hill. No, it's Susan Marie Hill. Gosh, that's terrible. Cheryl Talifus. It is good to see you, beautiful. And Mitzi, Mitzi, oh, uh -huh. Debbie Beaudry, good afternoon, good evening, good ever, whatever it is in your neck of the woods. Oh, my wonderful. Emily, oh, I didn't see. Okay, now you, Emily, if you, you, Stacy's doing her mixed media, so if you work with her, you know, don't. Don't leave her out to come over here, you know, because she's definitely a little, <laughs> we, she's definitely a little bit more um, crafty than I am. Hi, Lisa Blight. And all I'm going to be doing here is, you know what I do, I just run in my mouth. And we're, I'm using this. Thank you, my sweet husband. I love you so much. You are so wonderful. I wish you were twins so I could have two of you. Non-second thought. No, one of, you, one of you is fine. Okay. That should be enough for anyone. Yeah, okay. All right. I love you, sweetie, and I'll see you in, in a couple hours. Nancy Fraley, Anita Williams. Oh, you weren't going to do, you weren't playing along tonight. Yeah. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Gail. Yeah, I know you do. You all show me so much love. And I just, but you know, I have so much respect for Stacy that I don't want to take away from her either. Hi, Barbara Barnes and Sweet Drops 45. Have I heard, have you been here before, Sweet Drops 45? Okay, and Nancy Morales. Yeah, I my two regular times now are um, Tuesday and Thursday, both of them at 9 Eastern time. And I'm going to leave it as the, at that for now. And then whenever I just pop in, because I've learned that I can do that. I have these fill-in books. They were given to me, but I don't do those things. Somebody else did a bunch of them. Oh, in 03. So these are kind of old. They do look like they'd be fun. They do look like they'd be fun. But, um, yeah, I don't do them. I do some Sudokus every once in a while. But even them, I don't do, a, like, a whole lot. I need. I notice. Hi. Um, Jackie and Anita, 
It is good to have you here, Sweet Drops 45. We always love to have new, new regulars. See, now you can be, you're already part of the family. It doesn't take long. Um, now, when you have books like this, You get bored quick with Sudoku, Sudo, Sudoku, do, yeah, I can't even say it. Yeah, I don't play it much, but I have a book in there. I have one by it, but when it first came out, I was addicted so bad. But, um, because some of them are really hard. Hi, Tammy Wolf. Whatever, yeah. I know some of them are really, really hard. And these fill-ins, I've never done them. Crossword puzzles, I, oh, I started one today, and then I um, threw it away. I quit. I mean, I just, yeah, I said, nah, I don't want to do this. Now, when if you get books like this, now, see, because I only use a square for the pocket. And then, oh, Jackie's buffering, so she's going to be right back. Hi, Mark. Mark, it's good to see you. Um, these words, well, I don't know. Some of these, I think they make them up as they go along. But these words, you can cut out. Holy smoke. Some of these words I've never heard of before in my life. So... But you can use these words in your, um, you know, just cut out the word and use it on on um, ATCs and stuff because they're a pretty good size. So that's, that's one way of getting words. Now, some of these ones here, though, I've never heard of them before, so they might be in some different language. Closet. Oh, I know that one. Photocopy. Okay. Avon. Baked beans. Then there's, like, Oris. O-R-R-I-S. I don't know. S-C-H-S. -S Ovum. Oh, yeah, I knew that word. But anyway, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Hi, Dana. Yeah, don't. Um, I just do the easy Sudokus, though, you know, the easy ones. I don't do the hard ones. My brain doesn't work that way. But Sudoku makes your brain hurt. I know. Don't do things that make your brain hurt because you need your brains for um, other things. So. And I don't, I don't play it uh, much because not when there's crafting to be done. So when there's crafting. Hi, Barbara Batzer. Angela Rossetti. Hmm. Seems like I just talked to you. Shut my door there. Um, oh, pipsqueak. That's a neat word. That would be fun on a, on a little ATC. So, yeah, I'm going to look through these because see, I'm not using this top part right now. So I will look through them. Right now I'm just cutting my, um, right now I'm just cutting my, getting my squares cut for my, my um, envelopes. I think, mo I mean, my pockets. Because, see, I bought used up all my pockets that I had. Oh, crybabies. There's a good word. I bet your bucket that you put them. I bet your bucket that you put all the names in is running over. I still have that bucket under there. I still have that bucket. And um, when I when I feel like it, when I um when I feel like it, and you know how that goes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be still pulling more names out of them because there ain't no reason to have written all them names and then not pull names out and send prizes away. So I thought my um, these little pockets would look kind of neat out of these papers with the, the scrappy um, 
crosswordy looking zoomophlogies. I'm going to show you this this here envelope. If you watched my live this morning, you hi Barbara Ferris. You have a lot of pockets, but they're <laughs> missing the green stuff. I know that feeling, Angela. <laughs> oh, gosh. Starla Arts. Starla Arts. That, you sent me a happy mail, Starla Arts. And when I got it, I said, who is Starla Arts? I didn't know. And I don't know if it's because my brain was broke or something, but um, Starla Arts, thank you. I had opened it up, um, Starla Arts, Angela. Oh, yeah, this was the Discover Card envelope. And so, but now see, I fixed it with a unicorn. And I used a card and I left where the purple, purple showed. And then I just added stuff. And here is my return address up here. This is where the winner's address will go of the, um, hi, Sonia. Uh, oh, and Patricia Stubbs. Yep, this was, I just got this in the mail today as junk mail. And I loved the purple. And so when I added things to it, I just covered up all the writing. This one you can kind of see a little bit through that washi tape. But this is what I'm going to put today's um, door prize in and mail it off. And I think it's very pretty. See, that's why, heck, we don't need fancy stuff to make fancy stuff. We can make fancy stuff out of just about nothing. Yeah. I mean, you'd go and you get um, junk mail. Is actually happy mail because there might be words in there you can use or they're home all you guys are home already. When I hear my daughter's voice, I wasn't expecting her to like midnight. Hi, sweetie. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm <coughs> Wonderful. Your dog hey, is barking. She's so impatient now. Now she just wants to go straight home. This is a latte. Um, Lori made. I got to fix this real quick. I'm wondering if maybe you want the rest because Kim said she's having them. Come here, Lori. Let me hold you for a minute. Mmm. 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 But Lori made that with like oh, that's really good. good sugar and really good butter and really good everything in there. Oh, wow. Some train your brain stuff. I can't remember who she said Train your brain. Is this her cock? Yeah, she said to keep it though because it was too tall for her drawer. It's too tall for her drawer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Say then. hello to everybody. Are you seriously doing a live? Yes, it's Thursday. Oh my gosh, you're always doing live when I come in here. No, oh. listen to her. She's hi whining. everybody. That's Tommy Sue. Say hello, Tommy Sue. And Regina Schlesinger. Schlesinger. Yes. I'll see you later, Mama. I love you. Oh, Emily's dog just parked at your dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love you. Yes, I was babysitting her dog because she went down to her sister's house and um, and um, and we don't leave our dogs alone whenever we go somewhere because they're scared of the thunder. They're scared of the thunder. And we get thunder. So Susan says, hello, Tommy Sue. And Starla says, hello, Tommy Sue. Hi, Debbie Hayes. And Trish said, hi, Tommy Sue. And Cheryl said, and Bonnie said, hi, Tommy Sue. Yes, that's my Tommy Sue. She is my, oh, I'm telling you, she is seriously my right arm. She went and did my grocery shopping for me. I just give her a list. And Papa did this. You know, he was doing the pro grocery shopping. But lately, he doesn't really want to get out there and do so much. And so, but Tommy Sue's right next door. And she's got to go anyway. She says, just give me your list. And I do. And it works out better. Because, see, if I go with her, 
if I go with her to the store and I do my own shopping, things fly in my cart like like they got some kind of um they are um yeah they just fly in my cart like they like they're I don't know something's wrong with them here things and um it's like they're magnetically charged and they just kind of jump in my cart but if I get her a list I give her a list um she usually just gets we're not what's on the list like I give her a list the other day and she goes, I got a couple other things you didn't have on the list. I got your cottage cheese because I knew you were out. And um, it was a couple things she knows we're out of. And so she would. And she lives right next door. Hi, Nancy Gawker. Oh, your dog barks at the wind, Starla. Yeah, my dogs bark on whatever they feel like barking at. Sometimes they bark at their own shadow. So. Yeah, bark at their own shadow. And where are you, Starla, that you have wind today? Hi, Sassy. Um, you know what? I was um I learned something new because see, we got this Roku thing on our TV because we didn't really watch TV because you couldn't get nothing on our TV anyway, because we only had an antenna. But we got this Roku thing, and so I put the weather channel on. And so I could see what weather is all over the country, and that's kind of neat. And um, but I learned about dry, what's it called? Um, dry rain. Is that what they called it? It's like when you get uh thunder, dry thunderstorms, dry thunderstorms. Never heard of dry thunderstorms. And so apparently, what it is is. Thunder and lightning, but no rain. And it comes from, and and they have that over like in the Southwest. You ever heard of that? I guess if you live in the Southwest, in Arizona, and I guess it's now um, monsoon season. What the heck is monsoon? They said, because see, we get to listen to see what weather is everywhere. And so monsoon season, I said, oh, well, we don't have, mo we got hurricane season, but we don't have monsoon. So what is monsoon system, you all guys? Teach me. I am in Selena. Oh, in Kansas. Oh, with Dorothy and Toto. And there's Mitzi. Dorothy and Toto, they live in Kansas. Okay, so now, now then, I'm going to make my little, my little pockets. And I'm sure probably everybody know. oh, this book was printed in September of 2003. Wow, that's amazing. So you have a square of paper. This is about six by six, but you can have any kind of a, a square Joplin, Missouri. That's almost like Janice Joplin. Lizzie, I received your envelope. Thank you so much. I was having a bad day and the envelope arrived right on time to make my day. That's great, Nancy. That's great. We just all love happy mail. Okay, so see what I do? I fold that paper in half side words like this. Side words. Is that called side words? And then I take this top flap and I fold it down right to the middle. But what I do first, you know, is I, I go like this here to mark the middle. Just put a little teeny fold there and then put that top flap down to that little teeny fold there. Then this part, then this, we take this corner. Now you can fold that back down up there for right now. And you take that corner. And you fold it in there and then you take this corner and you fold it in there where it's kind of where this straight edge is right along that fold. And then you put this here fold down like this right here. And then you have a magical pocket. Bye, Susan. Are you leaving? Dorinda is there. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so excited to see everybody. You did well, you know, it doesn't take much. Well, it does. If you all weren't special, 
I wouldn't be excited. But you all are special. So I am excited. Okay. And so then I glue those down and I glue this part down here. And then that pocket is right like this. Now you can leave this part up if you so choose. But I take it and I turn it down about half the way and tuck it in. Turn it down and tuck it in. And I think these are really neat made with these um, pages from the, the crossword puzzle books. So, you know, when you're at the thrift shop, if you see a crossword puzzle or the Sudoku, you guys might decide that you like Sudoku. Because you can make a pocket like this. See that? And so then when you make them, you just go on a roll. You just start making them and you get a whole bunch of them. So that when, see there, I just, I just folded it, just put that little bit of a crease there so that when I pull this top thing down, I put that Fold it so that point is right where I made that little crease. Hi, Judy. Judy's handmade creations. And Penny. Hi, Penny. Oh, it's good to see you too. Oh, my gosh. Violet. There's Violet. Pink Rose. Oh, my goodness. Okay, see there? Now, I got that folded right down there to that point. And now I'm going to take these points and get them straight across so that they're right there at that fold, you know, with the corner of it right here at the edge, see? And it makes these cutest little pockets. You can make these out of your six by six papers to make it about this. Then you can go bigger. If you want to go bigger, you can go bigger. Now, see, you know what? I think... Um, Okay, I'm going to glue this down. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I'm gonna, so I'm going to glue these down. And you can, okay, I'm going to glue this down. Okay, so that part's glued. Now here with this top, you can either leave that up so you can see that pictures, those things. Now the last one I folded down this way inside but it doesn't show much so i'm gonna fold it this way so i can see those words i'm gonna fold it to the back and then i'm gonna glue that because now when i put this in a journal this part will be glued the this is the back and that will be glued to the journal and then there's the pocket and that's i like these pockets i think they're they're um just a little bit different. And all of you might already know how to make them. But I'm late to the party. No, I've made these before. But I used them all up. I, I've used them. Oh, wait a minute. I want this side. I want this side. But magazine pages, anything like that, you use to... um. Make these little pockets. And so, and make them a bunch, you know, make a bunch and then have them, you know, put it, put them all in a Ziploc bag or something, you know. And then so you have them made and then you don't, you know, if you, especially if you do junk journals that don't have a theme, you know, then these are just amazing to, um, to have on hand so then you just go and yeah it does look like a little sailboat and so i'm gonna just fold that back just a little bit and you you can fold it forward tuck it in you can leave it that way or i'm gonna do folding it back so i guess that would depend on what kind of paper you're using and what part you want it to show but they're fun they're they're fun they're simple to make they're simple to store, and so that's what you want. You want simple. That's what I want, <laughs> simple. Uh, so, yeah. So I get a bunch of them made up because I'm working on quite a few little journals right now. And so I get the, I've get i got the journal part done, but I do not have 
the um I do not have the the I don't have the pages all decorated and embellished yet. I sold another journal today, so I'm very excited about that. I'm very excited about that. Let's see. Hi, Gail. Did you take your Xanax with a side of Prozac for the number game? <laughs> Is it that bad? Do you think it's that bad? Oh, goodness sakes. You know, I just, I just, um, for giggle power, I just kind of did this one a little bit different. And see, and you can do that too. Instead of, see how I've been just leaving the point down here? This one I folded the point up underneath and then glued it. And so if you're using heavy paper, maybe you wouldn't want to do that way. But with this, because it's so light, and you know how neat this would even look. These ones, see, I took the pages out of this here book. So whatever... You know, I just took the pages out of the book and then I, um, and this is an old book. This was printed in 03. So it's already yellowed on the, uh, so whatever size page you got, as long as it's square, it'll work. So what I do first is I just fold it this way in that triangle shape. Then cut it right here. Cut this piece off. I cut this piece off. And then I have a square. So I don't know. I think this is about six by six. So, but as long as your piece is square, it doesn't matter what size it is. You can make little bitty tiny eeny beensy beensy teensy weensy ones if you want to. If you want, I, and then it's just folded in half that way. And then I put just a little pinch down here, just a little pinch so I know right where the middle is. And then I can take this corner and bring it down to the little pinch. And I know that it's right in the center. All right. Then I take the sides, these pointed sides, and right there where that fold is, is where I'll fold it and bring that straight up this way. So that edge is underneath that flap. And then I do the same way on this one. Just like this. This These would look really neat out of, um, like, really, <laughs> like, really cute in, um, in, with old vintage paper. They would be neat with vintage paper. Out of, you know, really vintage, the vintage um you know, not coffee stained, but really vintage. And I've got one book with all real vintage, which these are very vintagey looking already because they um, have already started turning color. So this one, I'm going to go ahead and fold that. I kind of like that look right there that that's folded under just a bit. And then, and then you can decorate this out, outside part. I'll show you that in a minute. It's not like I'm showing you anything fancy or schmancy, fancy schmancy, but um, but I just love these little pockets like this. I just think they're so cute. Cindy Trifone, did I say hi to you? I sure hope so. <gasps> did I, you gotta be kidding. And Lorraine Chubb, oh, I hope you're feeling okay, dear, my little Lorraine. Oh. Going to in the corner to catch my sass in my pocket. Don't you be putting your sass in your pocket. Um, you just, Anita Williams. Gosh, I hope I said hello to him. You let your sa sass go free, sassy. Hi, Lori Smith. Yes, and Die Die. Cindy. Yeah, you let your sass free. Sass does not want to hide in a pocket. But see how pretty? I just think they're beautiful. And so, and and so just you just go keep going and keep a going and make a bunch. 
make a bunch, make a bunch, a bunch. And so that's what I'm telling you about that right now. I'm telling you about that right now. So anyway, can you believe it's August 1st? Where is the time going? I'm telling you, July is done. Seems like we just had the 4th of July. And now it's August. That's like, that's like amazing how time is flying. Can you see where I just ran out of something to eat? I'll eat. Something to say. I didn't run out of something to eat. I just ate some, um, I still have loads I made the last time. You see, I love these envelopes. Yes, I remember when you did yours. I remember when you did yours, Dai Dai. You had a stack about two feet tall. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, now I see a name that I can't even say. And it's, um, and that person said good evening. And so, but I can't say the name. So, good evening, who your name starts with R and your last name, no. Your first name starts with an L and your last name starts with a A. But welcome. Welcome to our group. We love to have new people. And especially if you're a crafter. Because we like learning from other crafters. We steal your ideas, in other words. Okay, yeah, I'll do one a little slower. Okay. I can slow down. I can slow down. Okay, you start with a square. Any size square. All right, any size square. But it needs to be square, so like a six by six. And these ones here are about six by six. Okay, Lori? And then fold it like this way. So you're folding it corner to corner. So you've got a triangle. Okay. I've got to get me a drink. My um, my um, my daughter made this. Lori, Lori made this. It's a um, oh, I forgot now what she called it. Mm. Pamela Foster. Oh man, is this ever good? It's that coffee something. Mm, mm. That's good. Okay. Um. All right. Now, once you get that done and you got it folded in half, Lori, then just fold it like this way in half, but only just give you a little pinch right here. Just a little pinch between your cheek and gum. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I remember that was a commercial many, many moons ago. They were advertising some kind of weird um chewing tobacco or something okay once you get that little pinch there lori then take your this top first corner and go down to that little pinch because that pinch is marking just the middle okay and fold that so now that's what you have you got that folded up and then this folded down all right now now, then you have these two points out to the side. You're going to take that point right here, and you're going to fold that using the, using this fold as a um, using this fold as a mark of where you're going to fold, and that's where you get that's where you get your fold, and pull that straight edge right up to that fold like that. See, so you're folding this right up here so it meets that fold right there then you take this corner now and do the same thing fold it see i put my finger right there at the edge of the fold so it holds that paper so it folds in the correct spot and just get it straight up against that fold that we made this way and that's basically the envelope <laughs> 
Now you or the pocket, you can then fold it different. Like right now, okay, see, then I'm going to glue, I'm going to glue these little wings down, glue down those wraparound wings now. But what, and so then you can just put this down and glue it just like this. Or, but what I'm doing now this time, which I didn't do it this way before, I kind of folded that corner in. So when I fold it down, I've got a little bit of a, it's the corner is kind of hiding. But you don't have to do that part. This is where you can get, now, now you can leave this part just sticking up like this. If you want to, if you want to, you can leave it up or you can fold it down like this you can fold it all the way into the inside if you want to but i'm folding it to toward the back and i'm only doing it that because if i fold it this way i've got a lot of blank space but if i fold it back then i see words there so to me it just kind of gives it a better look in my own humble opinion so but i like using these i'm i'm I was given these books. No. Did I give them these books? No, thrift shop for these books. Thrift from the thrift shop. Okay, so then, but I think I, I like the look of that. So if you um, see these kind of books and you say, oh, I don't do crossword puzzles or whatever. I don't need that book. Well, then no, open your mind and think outside of the box, outside of the box and um, figure out what else you can do with that paper. I mean, you can do this with even newspaper. Any kind of paper will do. Toilet paper is a little bit flimsy, so I don't think it would work with toilet paper. <coughs> Shirley Martzell, are you out? Are you going to bed? Yeah, I imagine it's late over. Oh, it's late over there. Oh. oh, my daughter, that other one, Jennifer, she's playing words with friends, and it must be my turn. <coughs> so I'm gonna um. Pull that down like this. I like it. And then you can go around them if you want to with, um, you can ink the edges. But this, because it's already like aged, it's already aged like it's already 15 or 16 years old. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to, um, I don't need to, I'm not going to ink the edges. I don't ink as much as some other people. Some people ink everything. Everything. Fawns. The fawns. Yes. You play words with friends? Oh, I do too. I'm addicted. Words with friends. But like, I'll go on and play with everybody that I got on my list. And then I may not play it again till tomorrow. And I like that game. It's fun. And then I like Scrabble. I, I just like any kind of, I like any kind of word games. And it's weird too, because I can't half spell for nothing. <laughs> I know it. I was in love with the Bonds. I thought he was so awesome. I had a, well, he wasn't exactly my boyfriend, but um, some of you might, I think I've told this here story before, but when I lived in Minnesota, I was in Minnesota till I was 14 years old. And then we had family friends, the Blagans. Well, they had one of their, they had three children, but the youngest son, his name was Jimmy. And he was like the fawns of our little town. And um, he was like the fawns of our little town. And he was so gorgeous. And I was only 14. You know, I just, um, 
um, he, I was only 14 and he was like a couple years older than me. So all I was able to do was just look at him, you know, but we, we were family friends. So, you know, we played, hang out, we hung out, but um, he didn't know I was in love with him. He had not even a clue, but um, he was so good looking, man. And so we moved to Florida and then I quickly forgot about him, you know, but um and then some years later, some years later, oh, you met Henry Winkler? <whistles> wow. So anyhow, um, some years later, my mother called me. She goes, she said, because I, he was family friend, right? Okay. And my mother called me. She goes, you will never guess who is here. And I said, well, who is there? And she goes, Jimmy. I said, you've got to be kidding. And so I, of course, I still remembered him as this, this guy with a leather jacket and his hair slicked back and riding his motorcycle. And so I told my hubster at the time, I said, Ernie, I got to go up to mom's. We got to go up there like right now. He goes, why do we need to go up there right now? I said, because my boyfriend, my boyfriend, <laughs> I said, my boyfriend is there. <laughs> and I had to explain to him, he goes, okay, hang on, let me get my shoes on. And so he did, he carded me right on up there so I could see my boyfriend. And, um, <laughs> and, um, and so he carded me on up there. And the first thing I saw was in the yard was this truck that looked at like it done been then um like it done been run over by a train you know and um it was a mess and then we got into you know here i am expecting to see that leather jacket you know and um i seen what i seen i couldn't believe it I see this guy that had this big old fat beer belly and I, and his he just grinned like a jackass eating briars, you know, and um, he just grinned <laughs> and he didn't have half of his teeth. You know, it, 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 you look good if you have no teeth or if you have all your teeth, but if half of your teeth are missing and the other half are only half there, it does make your smile not quite as um enchanting yeah enchanting <laughs> and um oh my goodness sakes so ernie said to me he goes okay this is your boyfriend i said well i'm glad he's not anymore <laughs> <laughs> because he had never gotten married. He said he never found the right one, you know. And so he had never gotten married. I could see why not. Because And he was bald-headed. He didn't have none of that slick black hair anymore. He didn't have no leather jacket. And he didn't have no job. He was just kind of, you know, like a transient almost. And, um, yeah. And I looked at my Ernie and I told him, I said, you know what? You is handsome like Prince Charming. Man. I said. And then, and then there was a time, a, another time, when I was in school down here now, there was this one guy. He had the nicest car. He had a 57 Ford. And it was, it was like gunmetal black. It was gorgeous that car was and so and that's you know he picked up a lot of women followers because of his car but um he would load up his car and everybody would ride with him and go down to like Clearwater Beach or something just hang out drive on the beach I don't know if you can drive on the beach anymore but you could back then and so I so but that was just a school chum I mean he wasn't like a boyfriend or anything and um because only he would only have anything to do with like the popular ones, and I kind of didn't fit that group. And so, um, so, so he was he he just hung out with the popular girls, and then 
then here, oh, back about 20 years ago, I guess, 20 years, yeah, is when I bought a shed, a shed in my yard. And, um, and it had to be delivered. And so, so here comes my shed being delivered. And so I was excited to be getting my shed. And the driver that was pulling the trailer with the shed on it, he looked kind of familiar, but I didn't say nothing. And then, um, and, and then he goes, did you go to Gulf High School? I said, that depends. Why you asking me? You know, because I have to make sure why you asking. And um, he said, I remember you. And so he said, you're Eddie's sister. See, because that was my older brother, Eddie. And he knew Eddie more than he loved me. Then he knew me. And I said, uh, yeah, I think so. I have a brother named Eddie. And um, again, this guy went from drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> he went from drop dead gorgeous to holy moly. I couldn't believe it. And so you 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 just never know what's going to happen. Now, then there was one guy. I remember one guy that wanted to date me. But he was really boring. He was like not real look good looking. He was basically quite boring and um and he was definitely not popular. He was not a football player. And, um, but he always, he said, come on, I want you, let's just walk to the movies or something. Cause we'd walk down to the theater down there. And, um, and I always said, nah, I gotta babysit tonight. I can't go anywhere. And um, so, and I always just, he turned out to be, he got married and had children, and he was like, well, he wasn't a scientist, but he worked, he worked for um, NASA. He worked for NASA. He wasn't like a scientist or nothing, but make, he had to be smart to get the job that he had. Maybe he was a scientist. I don't know. And his, they had a beautiful house. He had a beautiful wife, and I think, you know, three, three children, I don't remember. And I thought, man, I lucked out on that one. Dang it. Because at that time, I was going for looks. And I thought looks was what it was all about. But, yeah. Hi, Bootsy. Oh, that's my Bootsy. Yep. Now, see, Bootsy one's one of the good-looking ones, but he's already taken. He's already taken, so we can't have him because he's already taken. So, yeah, so you never know. You never know. Sometimes it's those ones that um, Pamela says, cheaters stink. My first two husbands couldn't keep it in their pants. Maybe their pants was too baggy. Maybe you needed to keep them. Tell you what, yeah, there are some hubsters that don't know how to keep it in their pants. They just don't get it. Yeah. There was, <laughs> oh gosh, and there's Susan Krauss. There was um, here in Florida some years ago, there was some lady who she had a hubster that couldn't keep it in his britches. And so he come one day and um, he come home and I guess he was a little schnockered or something, you know, three sheets to the wind. And so he, she cut that plumbing right off of him, just whacked it off. And then she had it in her hand and she's driving down the road, throw it side the road. Yeah, she got in trouble. I don't know why she got in trouble for that. And then there was another, there was another, oh, you got me on a roll now. There was another that, uh, <laughs> um, same thing, husband come home. He was not, he was a cheater. 
and she got super glue and and um she got super glued and glued that plumbing to his leg lorena bobbitt that's the one yes and so then this other one she super glued his plumbing to his leg he had to go to the hospital to get it on super glued <laughs> oh my goodness i'm telling you you can get pretty much um entertained by by cheaters and drunks i'm telling you <laughs> As long as they don't come around me, you know. I don't. Oh man, no. <gasps> My oh no, I'm not going to tell you about that one because that one was bad. But I can't tell you any really bad stories. This is really bad. Lori Smith. My name is Lorraine. I remember her. My full name is Lorraine. Oh, I would super glue then duct tape it. <laughs> all into a wad you know and you can do that if they come home falling down drunk yeah we're talking now of course we got roy here we got bootsy bootsy we won't talk bad about you boots mm -mm, not not bootsy bootsy's our hero he because keeps us all sane and safe that's right he's our he's our bro He's our bro. Yep. Now, not all men are like that. Because I have been married. Yeah, upside the head with a frying pan, Janice. You got it. And so, but what was that song? It was Earl. Remember that song, Earl? They wrapped him up in a rug. He was in the trunk. They had to get rid of Earl somehow. It's a song. Yeah, Earl. But, um, yeah. And there's probably more good men than, yeah, Bootsy's shy and innocent, and he sings in church. Gosh, I love that song, Roy. Bootsy, you did so well with that song. You and your friend, you and the lady, oh, my gosh. Susan, I'm making just little pockets for journals right now out of these little squares of paper. Just little pockets to put in my journals. And then I'm going to make little tags to go. But see, I work like a, um, were you nervous? I could kind of tell that you were nervous. Earl had to die. That's right, Barbara. <laughs> he had to die. Oh, gosh. But, you know, there's more good men in the world than bad, you know. So we do, man bashing is fun. But. Only to the men that deserve it. They don't all deserve it. I have I have been blessed to have two very good husbands. I got lucky. At one time, well, yeah. I've had three, but that first one, Dixie Chicks. Yeah, Dixie Chicks. Earl's got to die. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my first one, he had to die. Holy smoke. And he finally did. Thank God. When my first husband, I was only married to him a year. It He was bad. He was, ooh, he was bad. But then it was funny because, well, it wasn't funny, but I shouldn't, nothing about death is funny. But, um, but, um, and I've said this before, so you might have heard it, but my daughter, my Jennifer daughter, at the time she worked at the hospice pharmacy. And you know the HIPAA rule, you can't be telling, you can't be telling stories out of school, you know, when you work something like that. But she called me one day, she goes, Mama, what was the name of that guy that you was married to first? And so I told her what the name was he. And she says, oh my gosh, he's on our almost dead list. And I said, he is. And she goes, yep, he sure is. And um, and so she gave me some of the info. And I said, oh, yeah, that's him. That's him. His sister, that's his sister. Next of kin, you know. Because she was my friend. That's how I met him. But, um, and so, so, 
a couple of days later, <coughs> she called me. She goes, he bought the farm. He's no longer on our almost dead list. He's on the dead list. And so then I waited a day or two, and then I saw his obituary in the paper. So I called the <coughs> funeral home that said they were taking care of him, you know, doing whatever they had to do. And so I called them to find out if they was going to be a viewing or something. And they said, no, she says, no, I'm sorry. <coughs> He's just going to have a little graveside service is all. And, um, and so she started telling me where that was going to be if I wanted to attend. I said, no, I didn't want to attend. I said, basically, I just wanted to know that he was good and dead. Because he was mean. Mean as a snake. Mean as a snake. He was mean as a snake. And we do think everybody that knows him thinks he killed one of his wives. And I still believe that. Because she hasn't showed up at all. Nowhere. And he had two girls by this woman. And them girls have looked for their mama. They've looked everywhere for their mama. Because now they're grown, you know. They were just little at the time. And there is no hiding her hair. And the hiding her hair of their mama. So I think that bad man knows exactly where their mama is. But anyhow, that's a, that's a real bad man. I'm glad I got away when I did because he come close to doing me in. Real close to doing me in. Because he didn't trust me. He thought I was cheating on him. And I'd say, how in the world can you think I'm cheating on you? You got me locked in the freaking house. Well, I didn't say it that way. I was too scared. Some of my old boyfriends have passed, but not the ex-husbands yet. Oh, I know. How can, and how do they change? I mean, how can they be one kind of a person when you're dating them? And then they, and how do you not get even a clue until you, after you marry them, that they're so bad? The way mine was that first one, I think he was just so, he just didn't trust me. He was so jealous. And that was, yeah, that was weird. It was very weird. So anyway, yeah, that was then and this is now. Oh, my turn with, I must have like 20 games going with me, Jennifer. She, she must have just played another one. Played another word. She whips me every time. She comes up with these words that don't make sense. So where'd you learn these words? Yeah. They hide it really well while you're courting. And I don't know why. Why would they? Jeez, good grief. Yeah. My first husband, well, I call him my first husband. My Ernie, I love him so much. He's now an angel in heaven. I knew him. I met him one day. I met I met him on November the 16th and married him on December the 29th. 20? No, I married him on December, the, I'm sorry, December the 15th. I knew him 29 days. And he was Flipping awesome. He was so awesome. I'm no, he's now an angel in heaven. An awesome angel. Flipping awesome. Not a pity, not a pity or sap story, loves, just my truth. Oh yeah, I'm all I got one more pocket to go here. One more that I got cut. See, and I'll and this one I'll walk anybody through it if you didn't see it. I have a square, so whatever, whatever size square, just to make sure it's square. This is about six by six. Fold it in half this way. And then I take it and I fold it in half this way, but only put a little pinch down there. So you got to mark where the middle is. Then take this front corner and bring it down to that mark. And then fold this. And oh, is my auto focus on? Has it been on this whole time making you all nuts? 
school. That is just horrible. That's horrifying. Just a minute. Let me get rid of it. I can get rid of it. That's the first. Yeah, there it is. See? Okay. Done. Man, I've been on there all that time and never know my autofocus was autofocusing because. Okay. So then we got it folded in half this way like a triangle. Then fold another triangle down to meet the center where you made that little pinch. Then you're going to take this corner here and this corner here. And you're going to fold them up to meet this fold. See? So I usually put my fingernail right there and then right there at that end of that fold right there. And then bring this up and fold it so that straight edge is right along that fold. And then pick this other side right here and do the same thing and get it to where it's right there on that fold. And then it looks like this. And then we'll give it a little dab of glue. A little dab of dewey, like Brill Cream. That was another commercial. Brill Cream, a little dab will do ya. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's when they used to slick back their hair, you know, trying to impress us women. Slick back their hair. <laughs> white belts and white shoes and slick back hair. And oh, gosh, did they look weird. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Shirley. Well, Miss Sassy T, I going through some issues. We're sending them vibes to you, too. Yes. Yeah. Cheryl's Crafty World. Now, are you new? Now, that name sounds not familiar. Okay, see? Now, on, when I um, folded this part down, I folded it under a little bit and then um, glued it, which you don't really have to fold it under, but I just want more of this crossword puzzle part to show. And then, see, I could fold this this way, but I'm going to just fold it this backwards way so that crossword puzzle shows more. And then I just put a little glue there. A little dab will do you. There we go. And now see, I I got all these pockets. I just made out of them pages. I got all them pockets. See, so I got all these pockets. Now, then you can. Now see, I have these flares right here. Oh, I got things in here. These were sent to me by a beautiful subscriber. Look at these flowers, flower power. Let's see, these might be a little big. I don't know, these butterflies. This maybe not. Okay, so now you can go and you can decorate. You can put beautiful things, whatever you want. You can put beautiful things on the front of the pocket. See, look at that star on there, star flower. See that? And then you just go through like you're just like you're a machine, just like you're a machine. And and you can do. You can do whatever you want, just whatever you want. You're free to roam. And like so. So like you can take one flower. You can take a flower. You can go to town on these things here. You can put this flower right here. I think. I think Trina made these. And then you can take and put something else over on this side. Now, it might have been somebody else made me these, but I know Trina's made me a lot of these kind of flowers. And see there? Then, then it's all decorated. Now, you might want to put a word on there or something to attention. Anyone new to the channel towards the end of the stream? Oh, she's talking about the giveaway. Yes, it's not a giveaway. That's I forgot about that. It's a door prize. It's a door prize. It's a door prize. Oh, yeah, yes, it's a door prize. We like to give away a door. And so it's a door prize. Put that one on there. Everybody needs a door prize. 
Everybody needs a door prize. Or you can just put that butterfly inside of there. You can put all kind of pretty things inside of there. You can put all kind of pretty things inside of there. But just even just the flower on the front. See how pretty? You put a tag inside there. Glue this on the back on your page. And that's beautiful. It's beautiful. You can't get any more beautiful than that. Even with a facelift, wouldn't be any more beautiful than that. So, and I'll just go like I'm a machine. And I'll just put some more glue on here. Put this right on here. Throw it over on this done pile. Get another one. I like them black and white ones with a button. Some of them has got a button on them. Some's got a black back. Oh, that. Just a minute. Let me get my tongue unwound. My, You know, I get my tongue wound around my eye teeth. Can't see what I'm saying. That's bad. That's what happens when you get, like, old. If, if you have Amazon, I got Martha Stewart cardstock for 366 48 one-sided sheets Christmas. Oh, that's a pretty good 366 for 48 sheets cardstock. That's not bad. Martha Stewart. Wow. Johnny, hi. Lise Bedard, did I say hi to you, my love? Or did you just sneak in the back door? I think you just sneaked. I think you just snooked in the back door. Vicky Pine, Vicky Pine. Look at you beautiful people. Beautiful, beautiful people. Beautiful, beautiful people. And I forgot what this is called, but I got some more. And she said I can keep the cup, too. That's a nice cup. Looks almost like my Yeti cup. Oh, this is called Reduce. It's not Yeti. Got a steel straw. Hmm. That's good. I forgot what she called it, but she makes all these. That was Lori. I got three daughters, Lori, Tommy Sue, and Jennifer. Lori made that. Because Tommy Sue was down at Lori's house. And um, so Lori made me a cup of that coffee. With it. She puts all kinds of stuff in it. It's it's like better than it's better than there's Kathy's world and friends. Oh, it is so good to see you. Yes, it's good to see you, Kathy. Everybody's been sending you all of them wonderful wishes. Yes. Yeah, that is a great deal. That is a great deal, especially if you're in need of Christmas paper. Be and you need to really get it now because it seems like, you know, about this time, people start making their Christmas decorations. And, um, yeah, I like the black flowers. I think they're very neat. I might still put something else, like maybe a word or something. I I may still put something else on on these envelopes. You just never know. You never know what you're going to get. And so, but yeah, it's I've noticed like Christmas things out already. But you know, for those of us who craft for Christmas, we need that stuff now. You know, we don't want to want them to run out before we get there. I love these little flowers. They really make these pockets look good. They really doll up them pockets, I'm telling you. I like that one. Black and blue. I don't like to be black and blue, but I like the flower. And, um... And that's, I got two extra flares now. Two extra flares. 
I'll use them then shortly, very shortly. What time is it? Oh, we still got lots of time. Oh, <laughs> it won't stick if you don't put glue on there, Elizabeth Marie. My goodness. See there? So I just made all of them pockets. So I have pockets ready to rumble. And then it's fun. It's it's neat because if you're like organized or OCD, you can take these pockets and put one inside the other. So see how they are just in a pile? Well, if you just stick them one inside the other, like this, gently, then they just they just kind of fit together. So they're so for storage. You don't have no complaints. You just know there they all are, all in one spot. You don't need to just, yeah, see, they just all fit together like that. See how they just go in there together? That's pretty many pockets I just made. I made all them in an air. In about an air, air, 60 minutes. And see now, look at there. You just poke them all together, put one inside the other. Put one inside the other and just keep putting one of them inside the other. Samantha, hello. I can't bring myself to think about Christmas just yet. I have to get through fall first. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true, true. But I got, I got um, my Christmas cards I'm making this year are... Um, kind of time consuming. So I got them like started. But see, if you start early enough, then you don't get in a rush. Then you just kind of take your time, take your dilly dally, you know, and take your sweet time. And so, and since I dilly dally a lot, because I might work on them today and then I might not work on them for another week and a half yeah that's kind of how i do things or i might not find them for a week and a half. You, you never know see there look that's all them pockets i just made they're all together neat and orderly like everything in my house neat and orderly yeah do you hear that lightning's going to strike me dead okay now now then these are Keisha High. Oh, dot com. Fall is my special gathering month. Everyone in the family knows I'm poor and I don't want handmade stuff anymore. Hmm. You don't want handmade stuff anymore? Fall is my special. You know what? I've told all of my chillings because, see, um, yeah, I got neat and orderly messes in my house. They're just piled up. It's, it's just all piled up. But um, Keisha's Creations, did your package arrive safe? Um, that was from your... Wait a minute. I'm thinking. I know it did, but I can't remember what was in it. It was something I ordered from your, from your um, auction. Hmm. 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 You mean your family? The handmade? I love handmade. Give me something handmade. Oh my gosh. My family likes handmade. Yeah, my family likes handmade. Books and some goodies. No worries. Just right. Yes, I know. Like, yeah. Yes. You always have the coolest books. They were like the vintage. Oh, and none of your daughters in law are crafty except new newest one is into photography. Does that mean um she doesn't want a handmade stuff? Well, she's boring. Give her nothing. Give her absolutely nothing. I gave you my son. That's all you get. That's your gift. My son. That's right. 
So now I want to make some little tags to go in my little pockets. <gasps> Tanya, hi. While you were cleaning around your, your craft area, now don't you overdo it, girlfriend. You need to be arrested. Now these are, oh, are these all folded ones? See, what I did was I took, oh yeah, these were, I thought these were all like long. I have these long file folders I got at the thrift shop. And um, I was cutting them apart with, um, oh, you're having one more sale this Saturday, then waiting for the next sale after a little while. All righty then. Okay, so now this, these, these, these doohickeys, I, I've cut them apart and I've been making tags out of them. The, the file folders. And um, which is amazing. Susan says, nope. None of them. I don't plan on it. So we have big meals and call it Christmas present for the family. That's right. Yes. That's what you do. Okay. So this was the bottom of, so I think three inches would be a good size tag to go in these little pockets. Let's see. <gasps> yes. You know what? Since these are folded, yes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them all three inches. See, you kind of just, as you're moving along, just, just think out loud. And, um, that one's a little bit less, but that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and decorate the front. And then I'm going to put a few pages in the middle. And then they will be a little journal to go inside the pocket. Get out of here, Elizabeth. You just all of a sudden got all smart and stuff. All smart and stuff. Grandkids ask for handmade paper clips and journals and days for us to come hang out with them. Yep. And, you know, I am finding, like, even we've asked Jeffrey. Jeffrey's got a birthday coming up. I said, what is it you want for your birthdays? You got anything on your wish list? And he says, nah, I got enough stuff. <laughs> you don't even want nothing. So, but we are going to get him something. We're going to get him a... Um, uh, like a battery pack for his electronics because and we're going to get him like a big battery pack because he always borrows mine and papa's when he's here when his phone starts going dead or something or his kindle and so I, we're going to get him one of them and then he needs an office chair but i think for his schooling area and so he's going to, he, his mama might get a that. But there's no list. There's no, he has no list. And um, so I think that's pretty awesome. He just likes hanging out over here. He likes, he likes that I have got everything. Oh, I have grand, I gave grand's money for 14th birthday and they returned with a note to request handmade. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I'm doing the door prize tonight. Yep, I have to. I made a special envelope. I made a special envelope for the door prize. This, this was my junk mail of the day. The Discover Card people were sending me. They wanted me to um, get a Discover Card. And I threw the information away and take, kept the, the envelope. And I decorated the envelope. This is where I'll put the winner's address. 
Yeah. I'm telling you. Sometimes that junk meal. It's not junk meal. And so... Yeah, my grandson loves to be here. Even my kids, my kids will say, yeah, and my house is in a mess. I'm telling you, there is stuff everywhere. But you know, they can say, like my brother, my brother, my son needed the sander. He said, he said, Mama, I need to borrow your palm sander if I could. And I said, Oh, no problem. And um he said, okay, where's it at? And I reached under my table and got it for him. I knew right where it was. I usually know where everything is. Well, except the lost stuff. I don't know where the lost stuff is. And, um, yeah. Yeah, I like this little cutter, too. This, the handle is starting to get a little wobbly, so I've got to be careful when I wobble it down that it lines up i had bought myself a new um a new the tim holtz one that is little like a little bit bigger than this but i gave it to my granddaughter because she wanted it well she didn't ask for it but she goes oh i think i want to get me one of those like that so i said here you can have this one that's what i said is that because that's what we do for our grandchildren and I bet you all do the same thing. I said, you can. I gave her my cricket because I didn't use the cricket anymore. I would, I love it, but I would have to drag it out and get it. And you know, he was a queen of bee bleach. And so, yeah, I gave her my um, I gave her my cricket and all the cartridges, which gave me more real estate to jump to pile stuff up you know which of course i needed that and see so now i got all these oh you have no grandchildren oh you just don't know grand i you're just gonna have to just go snatch somebody else's then just go snatch somebody else's grandchildren not mine though i have to keep mine Yep. Oh, and Lala Gamma says she spoiled her grandbabies when they were little. Now they're spoiling her. Mine are spoiling me too. I just, I can't get enough of that spoilage. But I told them, you know, they're always looking for craft supplies to buy me or something for birthdays and stuff. But I told them this year, no, I got enough craft supplies. I don't need anything. There's nothing at all that I need because I got everything. I says, but you can buy me some more wind chimes to put on my porch. I just want my whole porch. When I get the whole rail part of it covered with wind, wind chimes, then I'll start just hanging them from the ceiling. Yeah. You had to wait. You didn't get a grandchild till you were 69. I'm 69 and I've got 12 great grandchildren. I don't know how many grandchildren. I'd have to count them up on my fingers. And I don't think I have enough fingers. Wait a minute. See, I made me a cheat sheet here. I have got seven children, 14 grandchildren. And, oh, only 10 great-grandchildren. Almost 11. Because there's another one going to pop out any minute. So seven children. Because I made my little family tree here. Of each of the children and their mates. And all of their children. And then all of their children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, 10 great-grandchildren. And one on the way. So I'll have 11 by the end of next month, I'll have another. I'll have me another. Oh, okay, Angela, you go get you some rest. You get you some rest. And remember our plan. You're going to get an envelope from me in a few days. We got a plan. Me and Angela, we got a plan. We ain't telling either. 
we ain't telling you. We figured out something on the phone today that we're going to make and we're going to make it. I'm going to send her something that she, yeah, you'll figure it out after you see it. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. Okay, now I'm going to need to have, now, well, what should I use? Um, and everybody, please pray for, um, please, please, please pray for Angela. I know Angela doesn't want fuss made over her at all, but yeah, we're excited about what we're going to do. Angela doesn't want fuss made over her. I know that, but please send, um, prayers of comfort for her. Um, she has just got news that um, that her son, her only child, has got cancer and there is no cure for what he has. And so they're still going to try some more kind of chemo or something. But, but um, poor Angela, she's going through some sad time right now sad very sad so please um send prayers or vibes of healing you know for comfort for our angela because i cannot imagine having only one child and knowing that that only one child that child is close to the end she's still got three grandchildren and a daughter-in-law but um even with her son, but yeah, she's taking it very hard. Okay, just I got to get up and get some paper. I'm getting some little paper here. Um, I want to get this paper. Because this paper is a little bit aged. If I can get it out from this other stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh, I just I just got this paper, but I think see this, I got this paper at the thrift shop and it's old, so it's already yellowing. But I just thought of a different item, a different paper, and that is up here. This paper. Now, if you all ever get, are ever blessed enough, I just, whoops, I had a, wait a minute, let me get something. See this paper, this piece, it was in, this piece of paper was in a package that I ordered. But if you can get this kind of paper, it's perforated. See, it's already perforated. So if you get a package and they use this paper to, um, to wrap your, wears in then you just take it and tear it apart at the perforations and then you got all these see uh, this one here it was sitting in the floor because i had just gotten a package with using these this paper as packing material but see how you can just tear it and you get all all them sheets exactly the same size. Now, see, they didn't bother using the per the perforation. They tore. They cut it with a pair of scissors. But see, and then I get them pages, and then I just fold them in half. And I have used. Now, see, fold them in half, and then if you fold like these ones here. They've been folded in half for a while, so they've all flattened out. But see how they're all just perfect? They're just beautiful papers. And see, 
after you iron them, well, I didn't iron these. I just folded them in half and then put them in a, a stack under heavy books. And, but then, like, I've made journals, just use it, make the journal this size, just so I use the papers like that. But right now, what I'm going to do, right now, what I'm going to do, um, Oh, thank you. My nail polish looks nice. I polished them while I was talking to Angela. It's, yeah, I just polished them. I used to always go and get, um, I used to always go and get my nails done when I was working. Every two weeks, got them fill-ins, new fancy nails. I don't work anymore. No, I don't work, so I don't worry. And um, so now what I want to do, I'm going to make these into like a little, little journal. So now what I need to know is what are these sizes? This is like four. Okay, so I want the pages to be four inches by four by two and a half. Or do I want two and three quarters? Four by two and three quarters. Okay. So if I cut these at four, four, ooh, perfect, four, and then I want these to be, oh, and then I want to cut them at two and three quarters. So then, so then if I go like this to two and three quarters, like a thus. And then thus. These are going to be nice pockets. I'll be working on them. I'll be using them tomorrow as I'm working on my as I'm working on my journal some more. I got one. I got to mail out tomorrow. I got to package it up and mail it out. I'm so excited. Two and three quarters. So then that's my pages. So if all I put in each one, because I don't want to put a lot of pages in there because I'm going to decorate the pages and put little pockets on them and stuff. But there, fold that half in two and it fits right inside there. So I got a little bitty journal. Little itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot journal. Well, there's no yellow polka dots in it. Will this fit over here? Just right. My mini attacher. It goes right in there. And there, a four-page journal, or eight-page if you call it, count both sides. Oh, you had to stop being a nail tech. I always wondered about the poor old nail techs. Uh, they're inhaling so much. I just feel like they're inhaling too much chemical being in there all day long. Hi, Beetlejuice, my dear friend. So, yeah, these are going to go inside my pockets then. But now, see, they're going to need to be decorated. See, there's a little fold. That'll go in there, and that'll be like a little journal. But I'm going to um, I'm going to decorate the journal up. And these will be nice and beautiful. Nice and beautiful. Yeah, I... I just used my Avon lady. I got this here, Avon Speed Dry 30 Nail Enamel, 30 Second Dry, whatever. Chips off real fast. Hey, I don't care. 
just every once in a while I just will polish it. And like today when I was talking to Angela, I just well I just pulled out my nail polish. How fun, see? Those will be perfect in them little pockets. So now that I know, you know, I just love this new program for live streaming. It just goes so easy, and I haven't had any buffering problems. I have had no complaints, and I love it. Oh, Died I still does nails. But you never did acrylic, though, because of the powder. Okay, yeah. And here, too, they, a lot of, not all of them wear them, though. Uh, some of them here will wear a mask, but not all of them do. Dai Dai always has beautiful nails. I think she was born with beautiful nails. And she keeps them beautiful. I can have mine beautiful for a day, and then I, then they're not beautiful for a long time. Did you see that? just ran out. It just ran out of staples. That's the only bad thing about staplers is they run out of staples. Then you say, where's, where's the staples? And just a minute. I know they're right over here somewhere. Right over here hiding. Just a minute. Look at that. I turned my phone off. My other phone had a thing on the top that turned it off. This one here has one on the side. So where is my staples? I got these at the Dollar Tree. Energy blend, cranberry blend. They're all nuts, raisin, cranberry, almonds, pumpkin seeds. Yeah, haven't ate them all. Not yet. I will. So, oh, there they are. Here's my staples. Oh, phew. that was close. I'm not good at doing my nail, nails either. In fact, um, here even still, there's some on my skin. That's okay. If I move them fast enough, you can't see. If I keep moving them, you will never know. When I first got this here stapler, I, it, I just about went nuts trying to figure out how in the world do you open this up and get staples in here. Took me a while to figure out. That you had to lift this thing up. Oh, it's amazing. Give me the directions. Yeah. There we go. There's another one. There's another. One. Yeah. See, I'm just going to put two pages in each one, which makes four pages, which makes eight pages, depending on how you count them. Oopsie daisies. And then these are more, um, I like vintage looking things. Lee says, I have terrible knees. They break and they split and they peel. You know, I used to, mine used to be like that. But I don't know if it's some of the medicines I take or what. But, um, oh, that reminds me. Did I take my medicine? Maybe, I don't remember. Oh, well, I'll get it for a little bit. But, um, but now my nails are rock hard. They don't break. And um, no, the pills. No, see, some, some um, pills that you take make your hair grow faster as a side effect. And your um, nails grow stronger. And I think something I'm taking makes mine do that. I don't know what, because I take a lot of pills. I always think about um, when I take my pills, I feel like, you ever seen that movie Soylent Green years and years ago? Oh, that was weird movie. Soylent Green. So I take my pills and I think I'm having, I'm eating people or something. I don't know. It's, that was a gross movie. I don't know why I watched it. I don't know why I even mentioned it. That was scary. Scary movie. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. 
That was crazy movie. I don't ingest gelatin. Yeah, so you probably don't eat anything with marshmallows. And I done forgot how what size I cut these little boogers at. Four inches by two and three quarters. Okay, so the four inches I went this way. Did I? Yeah, four inches. Four inches this way. <gasps> Are you serious? YouTube just threw you out of the stream? Hmm. Yeah, I I hear that gelatin's made out of like horse hooves or something. It was okay all the way to the end when you find out what Soylent Green is. Yeah. Yeah, that was like a oh, whole, that was a spooky movie. I don't watch that kind of stuff anymore. I guess when I was younger, I did watch some of that stuff, but yeah, no, not no more. Not no more. I don't watch anything that's spooky. Yeah, ground up animal bones. Oh, God, the poor animals. And I guess, you know, oh, yeah, no. I was going to say that, I guess, mm, you recycle the animals, you know? Nah, let's not recycle the animals. Okay, that was four, so then this one needed to be the two and three quarter. Yeah, recycle animals. Oh, gosh. Yeah, after I learned about that, my hubster, he loves any marshmallow, anything. Oh, bubblegum is... Is made out of horses' hooves. Oh. Oh. I just can't imagine. Oh. Hmm. This paper, Penny, is actually packing paper that a lot of times you get packaging. You get something and, and it's packaged in this paper that puts it in the box so it doesn't wiggle around. And that's all that is. But you can also, if you don't get this that way, you can buy at the hardware store a big roll of this kind of paper. But they use it for like papering windows and stuff when they're painting. And um, they they in the painting section. Is where you can you can find it. What am I doing? Okay, this has to be. This isn't four inches. Oh, I cut four inches off of there. Now I need this one to be four inches. Okay. <laughs> Masking paper. Yes, Samantha. Yeah. And so, um, so yes, so you can get that same. But what I like about this stuff, when you get it in the packaging, it's perforated. And so when you tear it apart, you get exactly this size of a sheet when you tear it apart because it's perforated. Isn't that amazing? Makes things easy for us. Things should be easy for us. Okay, now then, two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. That's not right. I put three and three quarters. Am I a nut or what? Only two and three quarters. Good thing I got plenty of paper. So, yes, and I love this because it's a nice weight and it is very, um, to put it in the little, I'm just using it for these pages in these little bitty journals that are going to go just in little bitty pockets in a bigger journal. And I, I just, and, and I'm going to decorate these up. Maybe I'll round the corners. 
and I'll decorate them up. And um, so that's all. And, and just staple them. Two staples. And there I got that little journal. And I'll probably like put a little pocket in here and some, I'll decorate these pages just a wee bit. Nothing fancy schmancy, just a wee bit. And, and you could put other papers in here if you wanted to. Oh, so pink takes pills for hair and nails and it has no gel in it. Oh. Yeah, my nails, I don't know. Actually, it my nails started getting strong after I started taking Coumadin, which Coumadin is like rat poison. That's when my nails started getting all strong. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Gail, you can start the, um, I see that it's getting close to 11 on my clock. So you can start um, any time now. I'm sorry I didn't do anything any more exciting tonight. Except man bashing. So. I still haven't got your package out, Gail. Jeez. Here I get Gail's package. Here I get Gail's package out. Okay. These are so cute. I'm going to love putting these pockets. I won't put them on every page of the journal, but. These are going to be cute. Cutesy pitootsy. Lola says, it's fun to be here. Ooh, there comes the numbers. I see the numbers. I see the numbers. Ooh, Art P68 Lynn K. That's a new name. I am glad you're here. There's Aaron Klausner. Carrie, little Carrie C. Plaster. Crafty Artist Sue. Oh, that sounds like a new name. Crafty Artist Sue. Looking at names while well, I'm stapling pages. Dai Dai Kirby is 9, 29, 29 years old. Tammy Wolf's only 25 years old. Trish is 76. Okay, so I need to now fetch, put this down. See, I get on a roll. See, if you're if you're just sitting here and watching videos or something, and then you just putting stuff like this together, something like in a in a um, you know, like us, like a like you're a conveyor belt, like you're like a machine, then um, you can watch videos, watch a movie. And see, all them little books. Look at all them little books. It's like a little library. Okay, speaking of library, I need to get my envelope packed. I need to pack my envelope. I can do I can do these any old time. I gotta pack my envelope. So now I have to go here. Oh, she said stop. When she says stop, she means Stop. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just plain ordinary stop. 
That's what she says. Okay. Oh, how cute is this postcard? Oh, Chinese children, Chinatown, San Francisco, California. How cute is that? Okay, so there's two postcards. And then, oh, here's my this. And here is a little embroidered flower. And I'm finding stuff to put in there. Just a minute, just a minute. I'm finding stuff in my stuff box. Oh, this here. We'll put that door prize because that's a door. Everybody that wins a door prize should always have a door. How could it be a door prize if you don't have a door? And then we have this envelope here. Oh, this here picture. We're going to make more copies of this now. This. Yes, darling. Are you okay? Well, I'll be in there um, just in a minute here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This here, when you get this, this is a this is a copy of a card that I got from Gail that she drew. This is her artwork. I am so loving that. Okay, let me see. And you'll get this little girl. And here you can have this little envelope. And you will get this little poem about friends. And we got to put, oh, I got to put this. Okay, now let's see. That looks good. 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 And then I got to put this on the envelope. There we go. Now, and then you will get a, let me see, just a second. And you will get a library card and a library pocket. So that if you're making a journal, you put that in the back and that is fun. And then I may as well give you a tag. Now, when you get this now, wait a minute, where did I put that? Oh, geez. Okay, I'm going to send you, you're going to get an empty journal. You got to fix it yourself. I'll put it in this here little thingy. And then I'm also going to put one of these here little thingies in the thingy. Okay, just a minute. I'm going to pull a number. Just a second. Hold your britches on. Hold on to your britches. I want to put a string in this tag. Because I want to make this a happy door prize. For a happy door. I don't want a sad door. So there we go. Now look at this. Oh, and then I always put in a piece of this, too. And this is punchinella that we use for, um, like, a stencil. When you're doing mixed media, you get a piece of that. Okay, now I'm going to put just a minute. I'm going to be, uh, okay, you're holding your horses? Okay, so you're getting the punchinella. You're getting an envelope that I just made, a tag. I did them earlier today, a little um, journal that you have to decorate yourself there's a butterfly you get a library pocket with a pot a library card with the pocket you get this here it says what is friend and then you get this little girl she's going to be in that little pocket and oops that was an extra pocket and then you'll have this these tickets and then you'll have this door and then you'll have this flower and then so you don't ever forget my name, it's right there. And then you have two vintage postcards and this beautiful art of, oh, I got to write on the back of this. This has got to have a write on the back of that. But I'm just going to put this in here for right in this very minute. I'm just going to drop it in there. And then I'm just going to tape the end of this shut. Now, see? I got to write on the back of that. Or did I write on? No, I didn't write on there. Okay, now I'm going to pull a number. Now. Now, 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 now. Now, don't leave yet. We got to get a number. Let's take that card right there. Okay, Granny Panty Suspenders. That's a new one. That's a new one. Does it mean that you have droop drawers? <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. I guess I bet y'all want to know what this color, this number is, right? Do you want to know what this number is? 
Let's see. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Da oh, I cut my nails and I can't do my drum roll. Okay. 48. 48 is the number. 48. Lala Gamma says yes. Does that mean anything good? Okay. Okay. Gail will tell me what name to write on this envelope. She'll tell me. Gail will tell me. I depend on Gail to tell me stuff. She tells me everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there, I put that on there. And then that can go in there. I know you all will enjoy this. Just look at me and say, holy smokes. She drew that? That's a big change around my neck. <gasps> Pam Taylor has 48 right on the nose. I got a pee line left. I'm going to be, I'm laughing hard over the suspenders. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Suspenders. Okay. I got to put this little sticker on here. I can't forget that. Okay. Now, whose was that name? I got to write that on him. Um, Pam. It was Pam. Pam. Not the kind of Pam you, where's my mouse? Okay. Pam. Wait a minute. I gotta get that name. Pam Taylor. Alrighty then. Pam Taylor. I think I do have your address, don't I, Pam Taylor? Um, if I don't, send it to me in the email. Send it to me in the email anyway. Makes things so much easier. Either email or PM. Okay. I am. Whatever you call them things. Yeah, this is cool. This is cool as a cucumber. And um, good night, Sheila. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say good night, but I've got to read real quickly. I'm gonna find a page to read. Let's see. Find hope within. All right. Hope is such a marvelous thing. It bends, it twists, it sometimes hides, but rarely does it break. Hope sustains us when nothing else can. It gives us reason to continue and the courage to move ahead. When we tell ourselves we'd rather give in, hope puts smiles on our faces when our hearts cannot manage. Hope puts our feet on the path when our eyes cannot see. Hope moves us to act when our souls are confused by the direction. Hope is a wonderful thing. Something to be cherished and nurtured, and that will refresh us in return. It can be found in each of us, and it can bring light into the darkest of places. Hope. And that was written by Brenda Hager. We all remember, keep in mind that we always have that hope, no matter what. We have hope. Okay, and I want to say God bless you to each and every one of you. Thank you so much for coming by and hanging out with me when there is so many other um, channels you could go to. You just, you just, you just warm my heart so much. Okay, God bless each and every one of you. May he watch over every step you take, every move you make, and I will see you on the next video. God bless. <laughs>